Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some it's not. And the fair accuse is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Um, first, I want to say happy Sunday to everybody. And y'all stay safe out here in these streets. Okay, please be safe. A lot of robberies is going on right now. This is the new thing. The You know, the rappers is pushing people, be, you know, going out, taking what they want. So, y'all be careful. You know, I just ran across a story about, um, you know, people being followed from ATMs now. People are in cars watching people um, take money out of, you know, the ATM. And then they follow them home or wherever they're going and they're robbing them. So, y'all... Pay attention to your surroundings, okay, y'all? Um, we got another rapper that was just taken out. Now, his name is Key Riches. He's a rising Compton rapper. He just passed away. Um, he was shot and killed on Saturday night, September the 24th. The shooting happened around 940 last night, Saturday in the um, 1500 block of South Chester Avenue where deputies arrived to find two individuals age 20 and 30, 20 to 30, suffering from, you know, being hit up, y'all. They were pronounced dead at the scene, according to the Sheriff um, Information Bureau. Authority, authorities are saying that two males were taken out and a woman was injured in a shooting in Compton on Sunday. Wow, y'all, it's going down out here in these streets. It's like it's never ending right now. The woman was also injured, and she was taken to the hospital in stable condition um, by paramedics. There was no evidence of a crime. Anyone with information about the incident, they're telling them to call the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Homicide Bureau, okay? Um... Keith Richards was an American artist who was born and raised in the city of Compton, y'all. Through his artistic success, he has become a respected rapper and public figure in his community. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is sad, y'all. I have to pause for a minute because, you know, I just saw a video of him and he was, like, giving away free tickets to stuff. And he was another one that was kind of doing a lot of stuff in the community and trying to help out, you know, little ones and stuff and be a kind of a role model. Now, I don't know a lot about his music because I've never listened to his music. But um, he could possibly, I don't know if he was a drill rapper or what, y'all. But, you know, some things that's, you know, on the internet right now. It's just showing that, you know, he reached back out to the community and he helped others. Okay, y'all. And, you know, he was telling people he would jump online and tell people, to, you know, they're going to give out free haircuts for the kids for go going back to school or stuff like that. He was, he was doing stuff in the community and reaching back out. You know, you hate to hear about something like this happening to someone that's um, helping others that's that bothers you more than anything it's just like um when young Dolph got taken out he was helping a lot of people and when somebody's help you know that hurts more when you, somebody is out here trying to do some some good you know it just makes you wish that they would leave this other crap alone now like i said i don't know if this is the same thing for him and what kind of music that he you know put out but you know, this got to stop, y'all. This seriously has to stop. They're not saying if it's a robbery. They're not saying if what all happened to him. They're just saying that he was, you know, he was shot. That's it. So, um, I don't know. I got to go check out some of his music and see. It's a shame that a lot of people, you don't even get to check out their music until after they're gone. Because you don't even know of these guys until this stuff like this happens. It's a lot of killings going on everywhere, y'all. Especially like in um, Houston. It's a lot going on in Houston right now. 
And it makes you wonder, like, what is, you know, what is a brewing? Um, I try to find his record labels. It said Get Rich, the record label, or something like that. I don't know if that has to do with 50 Cent or anything, because I know he got the Get Rich or Die Trying stuff. But uh, it possibly couldn't. It might not. But, um, yeah, rest in peace to this young man, y'all. Got another one gone. And it seems like it's just heating up right now. You know, we, we come on here and we tell y'all this is a sacrificial season that a lot of people are being taken out, but people are not taking heed to the warnings right now. A lot of people are not listening. And it's sad. You know, you got to keep your eye out for this stuff. And even though you're not out here doing wrong, you're, you're a bigger target than the ones that's out here doing wrong. Because we always got haters. When you're out here and you're helping people and doing stuff for the communities, you're the ones that need to watch out the most because they get a kick out of taking out people that's helping people for some reason. And I don't understand why it's like that, but it is. So, you know, just because you're, if, you know, I don't know if he was out here beefing with anybody, but just if you're not beefing with anybody, you still have to watch your back out here in these streets. You really do. got to have people around you that you can trust. And all of that, you can't you can't let your guards down no more out here in these streets, because it's always someone lurking, someone that don't like you, someone that just they on demon time. It don't have to always make sense to why people are taken out. Some people are just taken out because people just feel like taking them out. They have nothing else to do, so everybody has to be on guard right now. Even the you know even out the old school rappers right now. They need to be on guard right now because, you know, word on the street is, you know, this sacrificial year, the year of the 222, you know, they want to take out somebody big this year. So who is going to be? We don't know. But that's word on the street that, you know, this is what they're the sacrificial, you know, community wants. They wants to take out the top dog this year. So it's a lot going on. You know, people thinking that they're safe, but oh, I'm not out in the street, so I don't got to worry about it. No, you have to worry about it too. You really do. You really have to, and you have more to lose. You know, you stand to lose more because when you, when they take out somebody that's helping others, then, you know, they get, you know, the, the vibration level for the demons raises. Because they take somebody out that's helping a lot of other people. So the more people that's hurt by this being taken, someone being taken out, then, you know, the more vibrational this evil goes to the, the ones, you know, these demons out here on demon time. See, this is what I try to tell y'all. Y'all got to keep, you got to be safe, though. You got to be safe out here in these streets. And you got to keep your vibrational level at a certain pace where, you know, you're not giving it to the demons. Because, it, you know, it adds fuel to their fire when they can reach someone that um, that helps people. Like, look at look at how people are being taken out and then they rank up. They rank up. And this is how that, that goes. It's just like when you, when you take out a demon, then it, it goes the other way. That's why I was telling people to be careful of new music that's coming out that's demonic and stuff like that. You don't want to lower your vibration listening to stuff like that. And you can fight, you know, these demons off better when you're, you know, your your stuff is pure. You're not letting this type of stuff in. So you have to be careful. A lot of people, you know, what they're doing now, they're not listening to the, this type of music anymore. So that helps a lot. When you're not, you know, I told y'all, y'all can bring demons in your house through music. You can bring demons in your house through objects. Remember when I was telling y'all about, you know, um, Lil Nas X and they was trying to, they said they was putting um, blood in the shoe, his gym shoe or something, that gym shoe he was selling. Yeah, you, you can bring demons in your house with stuff like that. People like, um, People like Kanye West and stuff. I wouldn't, I would not, I, me personally, I wouldn't even buy his products because it's so much, 
demonic stuff going on with Kanye West that is ridiculous. I wouldn't even want to buy anything that he he puts out here. Because there's some screws missing there. It's some stuff. It's some people up in that head of his. There's a whole bunch of little demons up in there. Y'all. Anyway, y'all, I just want to let y'all know that we lost another one. Very sad. Very, very sad. But this is what is going on out here. And like I said, you can't even keep up with the people that's passing because it's so many. Every day now. It's not even every other day. It's every day now somebody else is being taken out in the music industry. Or somebody that's out here doing something, you know, very important with their lives. So y'all just be careful. Be safe. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.